Well, uh, what'd you think of the race today? Um, it felt really good. I I felt like it was a good start to the season and just getting out there and doing my best. And I loved the course. So. When did you decide like to break away a little bit? Um, I was trying to take the first lap kind of easy and then really make my move on the second lap. And then it was at the top of, I tried to just push up the, this big hill at the end and then really let the downhill take me to the finish line. So. It's a challenging course with this hill at the end here, isn't it? Mm hmm Yeah. And how is it? It looks like running downhill is easy, but it's probably a lot harder than it looks. Yeah, I mean, once you get to the top of the hill, just like all, I mean, it gives you more momentum, but it's like still really tiring and you have to try to not like sprint the downhill, but just use it to your advantage, so. How did you get started in distance running? Um, the Girls on the Run program was brought to Wyoming when I was in elementary school, and that was probably what got me into running, and then my sister, um, she ran also, in she did cross country, so I just decided to do that. Did things uh, for your performance at the state track meet kind of help you for the, the beginning of this season in cross country? Yeah, um, outdoor, I wasn't too happy with how I did, so I was really focusing on this summer, just like improving and just building off and off that and getting my fitness up and yeah. Did you do a lot of, do a lot of running in the summer? Um, we take it easier in the summer than the season, but we make sure that we don't um, don't train at all. We train, but it's more fun and just kind of getting a head start into the season. So. It was very different. I'm not used to that many ups and downs, and with it being an altitude, it's a little different. And then that wind down the back stretch, it's a killer. I was gonna say that that this uphill climb right over here, you got to do it twice. I mean. Uh, you had to dig deep for some energy there, right? Yeah, the first one was pretty good. It was just a maintain, and then the second one was just, you just gotta go for it and hope for the best. Running downhill looks easier than it actually is, right? Yeah, especially in the spikes on this kind of terrain, it gets a little uneven at some places, but it's nothing that you can't manage. Uh, when did you decide to break away in the race and go by yourself for a bit? Honestly, I wasn't really playing on being ahead by so much in the beginning. I kind of expected the pack to just kind of be right there with me. Mm -hmm. And then when they broke free, I'm kind of like, I'm up by like five seconds now. I, I can't lose this. <laughs> Wait, how much did the outdoor track help you with cross country, especially like at the state meet? Well, the state meet, it was really good because it was when I dropped my, what I feel like was my best times, even though they weren't the best times because of win. It felt like I pushed a lot better than every other time. So it was good just learning how to push a lot harder through the wind. And when did you start distance running? I started distance running back in sixth grade, but I wasn't too good at it. And I first really got serious my freshman year in track. Hey, thanks so much, Tracy.